you want me to, I can. Um, well, that way we can have an audio of it. Oh, okay, let's do it. Um, okay. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany's hungry, so I'll do, a, I'll do a condensed version of this. But um, I had a friend in, uh, in high school, uh, in high school and middle school named, named Matt Parker. And me and Matt lived on the same military base uh, over in Okinawa, Japan. And I had, we lived on the same base, we were friends, and, and um, there's a kid who lived, lived next door to Matt named Matt, uh, named, uh, named Colin. Colin Dowell is his name. And Colin sucks like this. He sucks like this the entire time. All the time, Colin sucks like this. Kind of his tongue in the back of his throat and his very big smile type thing. And, um, and it was funny because we'd see Colin. Colin was about 15, 16 years old, about sophomore in high school. We were like seventh, eighth grade. And um, so like 13 or 14 years old. And he'd come up to us and he was like our best buddy. You know, he thought that we were the best of friends. And he'd, we, me and Matt would be just kind of sitting around and he'd come up to us and go, hey guys, how are you doing? And we're like, oh, we're, we're doing fine. Colin, how are you? I'm doing great. So, get this. You guys want to play RPG? I'm like, RPG, what, what is that? He's like, you ever play D&D? D&D every once in a while? Yeah, he was kind of like that. Just, I made my own world and stuff like that. And we were going to play it my way. And, you know, we were, we were good kids. And so we were like, yeah, sure, Colin. We, we'd be happy to play. He's like, okay. So, Matt, you are a dwarf. And Matt would go, oh, I, I don't want to be a dwarf. You are a dwarf. Oh, okay, okay, I'm a dwarf, okay. And you have the best armor and the best weapons in the world, okay? He's like, oh, okay, that, that's pretty cool. And he said, and you, Drew, you're an elf. I'm like, uh, okay, I, I can do that, I can be an elf. And uh, you, you have all the, the best spells in the world. You have them all memorized in this mighty, powerful staff. Like, okay, that, that sounds cool. Um, so what are we doing? He's like, okay, so you and Matt, are standing on the wall of Britannia. Like the wall of Britannia? Yes, the wall of Britannia. He's like, Britannia is my own little world. I made up this big stuff. And um, he, he then shows a map of the wall of Britannia. And it was basically just a circle on a white page with a line drawn down the middle across the entire land mass. Like, this is the wall of Britannia. And you are here, right here. I'm like, okay. And he's like, so, what do you do? I'm like, okay, um... We'd like to go north. We can't. Okay. Um, we we want to go west. We can't. Why not? Because we can't. Okay. Uh, we want to go south. We can't. Why not, Colin? Why can't we go south? We can't. We just can't. We want to go east. So you're going east, and you're walking along the wall of Virginia. And, and he'd, he'd say, okay, so your, your objective is go from here to here. I'm like, okay, that that's, shouldn't be too long. And then we happen to look at the bottom of the screen, uh, the bottom of the page, which is, had the key. And about that long, it was about a million miles. And so, like, this was about yay big. And so he's like, it's going to take about 100 years of constant walking for you guys to get there. It's like, okay, so 100 years later, what happened during that 100 years? It's long, it's about backstory we don't need to hear about. And... Like, okay, so you're, you're at your destination after a hundred years. Okay, and, um, and you meet this guy in black armor with a giant black sword. And, and what did you do? Well, well, we've come this all this way. I guess we confront him. Okay, so he comes up and he kills you. Now, you're dead. Uh, okay, and he takes all your armor and all your weapons and gives them to me. I mean, someone who looks like me. And we're like, uh, okay, like, do, what do you do? I, 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 oh, too late, you're dead. And he takes all your spells and your staff and gives them to me. I mean, someone who looks like me. And you're dead. Thanks, Colin. That was terribly fun. Uh, we'll, we'll be going now. And we'd leave. And he'd, you know, try to, try to stop us and be like, okay, guys, that was fun. See you later. And um, he's like, I'll be here tomorrow, you know, type thing. And we'd play with him at least two or three times a week. It was always the same thing. We died in so many different ways. Uh, we, we were killed by children one time. Uh, I remember we were pickpocketed and all this stuff went from, he's like, take all your stuff and he kills them to me. I mean, someone who looks like me. And then something like that happened.
all the time. And he was just an interesting character. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a funny voice. It's just a funny thing to talk about. So that's my story, Charlie. <laughs>